Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing awesome. Awesome. Today I have a tag video for you guys, the animal book tag, which was created by Miranda Reads. I will leave the link to the original video down below. I was not tagged by anyone, but I've seen this floating around booktube for quite a while now. And I'm breaking the rules. I guess by not being tagged, but I can do that, right? I don't have to be tagged. It's tag starting now. Question one, an animal that only comes up for air, the whale. I like whales. Whales are beautiful and majestic and huge-ish, very huge. What is a book you only put down if you had to? In high school, there was a book that I read that kind of just consumed me and all I did was read this. It interrupted all of my social life during that time. I just didn't want to talk to anyone. And that is The Passage by Justin Cronin. It's a post-apocalyptic book about vampires and I've only read the first book. I have not read the second or the third. I took this with me to school every day into class and I remember getting in trouble in math class in science class, in all of my classes, even English class, because I would take this out and read this instead of, you know, paying attention to the actual class and doing the work. I did the work. I just kind of had this under the table and would read this, and on lunch I would sit with friends and stuff, but I would take this out and read this, and when people tried to talk to me, I would say, no, 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 shush, don't speak to me. I'm reading. I only put this book down when my teachers said, Erica, stop reading. <laughs> Two, beautiful but scary, The Lion. What is a great book that intimidated you at first? For this one, I'm gonna go with The Lord of the Rings by uh, J.R. R. Tolkien. In high school, I remember saying over and over, yeah, I'm gonna read The Lord of the Rings. The next year, yeah, I'm gonna read The Lord of the Rings this year. Never did until I think af right after high school, I finally read The Lord of the Rings and it was wonderful, it was great, I'm so happy I read it. But oh man, before reading this, I, I just, something about this was terrifying, probably the size, probably because it just looks daunting. Three, every kid's favorite, The Goldfish. What is your favorite children's book or favorite book as a child. I'm just gonna share a random book that I read as a kid that I really enjoyed, The Goblin Wood by Hilary Bell. I read this at the end of elementary school and to be honest, I don't remember anything about this book. I kid you not, I read this maybe three times in a row when I first got this book. It was at a book fair and I just, I was so in love with this book and I don't remember why. The memories have just gone away. Four, I've got a big head and little arms, the T-Rex. What is a book that is strong in some areas and weak in others? For this, I'm gonna go with Mystic River by Dennis Lehane, I think. Uh, anyway, this is the author of Shutter Island, which I still haven't read yet, but I, I do want to read that someday. Mystic River is probably the first thriller that I read as a kid and this book, it was good and I really enjoyed it and I also really enjoyed the film but the thing about this book was it left me feeling really underwhelmed. It was slow at parts and things felt a bit predictable at points. This is one of the books that helped me expand my reading and got me to branch out a bit. I would be interested in rereading it someday maybe and seeing what I think of it now but I don't know. Five. Spider. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Spiders are, are, are scary. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're scary. There's a spider on my ceiling. I named him Scott. And then there's another one over there on my ceiling. That's Scott number two. They kind of just hang out there and they're my roommates. I let them be. I like to think they let me be. Um, yeah. A book you have no intention of going anywhere near. There are so many books I don't want to read. Anything by Sarah J. Mass, Moss, all of those books, they just look ridiculous and I just... No. Anything by Nicholas Sparks, I've read A Walk to Remember, and the last song. I don't want to read anymore. Number six, the animal that repeats others, the mockingbird. What is your favorite adaption or retelling? I have two that I want to share. First, Peter and the Star Catchers by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. This is a retelling of Peter Pan. I've only read the first book and I do want to someday continue the series. It's really fun, it's really different. If you love Peter Pan, which I do so much, you would like this. And then I have Ripper by Stefan Petrucha. I butchered that, I just know it. This is is a retelling-ish of Jack the Ripper. I like, I don't want to say I like serial killers, but I like reading 
about them and watching documentaries about them and movie adaptions about serial killers that makes me sound so bad. This was a good retelling of Jack the Ripper. It was really fun. It was fast paced. I just, it, mm, okay. Seven, The Laughing Hyena, a book that kept you laughing. Neil Patrick Harris's Choose Your Own Autobiography. This book was so much fun. I enjoy Neil Patrick Harris a lot. I'm a big fan of How I Met Your Mother, his character Barney Stinson. If you're someone that talks to me all the time, you often hear me say, high five because Barney Stinson. And I was lucky enough to meet Neil Patrick Harris in person and give him a high five. High fives are awesome. This book's funny, also, which was the question. Read it. Eight, Mama Bear, a book with a fierce female character. For this one, I'm gonna go with Jackie from Bloody Jack by L.A. Meyer. This is a book about pirates. And our main character is a girl named Jackie and she, you know, dresses up as a boy to get onto the ship and go on this adventure. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. She's a great character. Nine, The Horrible Hateful Cats. Cats get such a bad rep. A book you despise. The Stock by Steve Alton. If you're not new to my channel, then you probably know that Steve Alton is my favorite. You know, for various reasons, mainly Meg. This book is... is shit. It's so bad. It's so bad. I don't get it. I'll never get it. The first half, great. Steve Alton, keep doing what you're doing with that. But then the second half, what the hell happened? What are you doing? I don't like this book and I don't want to talk about it anymore. So we're just gonna forget that it exists. Although I don't want to get rid of it because I spent like $30 on it. Damn it. 10. Man's Best Friend, The Dog, a book by someone you know. I almost didn't have an answer for this question, but then I realized, wait, hey, you have Operation Cure Boredom by Dan Martin from, you know, Dan Martin Likes You, and you know him, and he's funny and awesome, and you guys should check out his book, even though I haven't read it yet, but I will. I will. And that was the animal book tag. That was so much fun. I hope you had fun. I had fun. I'm gonna tag some people because that's what you do for tags, you, you tag people. First, I'm gonna tag Shelby from Clever Fox. I'm also gonna tag Tash from Tash Talks Tomes. I have a hard time saying that, I don't know why. I hope you do this tag, you're awesome, you're funny, and I like your videos. Also, Jen the Librarian. And the last person I'm going to tag that I must tag because I gotta tag her in everything I do, and that's Molly, because Molly, I'm just, this is becoming a tradition now. Just tag Molly in everything. Sorry to do this to you, but it's fine, it's fine. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.